solve 11 sin x plus 1 equal to 4 cos square x where x lies between 0 to 360 degrees. They told you to solve. So you should find the values for x. Satisfying this equation and also it should lie in this interval 0 to 360 degrees. First the given equation is 11 sin x plus 1 equal to 4 cos square x. Now all the terms should be present on one side. What I mean is 4 cos square x should not be present on this side. So to remove this we subtract 4 cos square x on both sides. So we get 11 sin x plus 1 minus 4 cos square x equal to 0. Now in this trigonometry equation we have two trigonometric ratios they are sin x and cos x but there should be only one for that to happen I cannot convert sine to cos but I can change cos square in terms of sine square with the help of this identity sine square x plus cos square x equal to 1 you want cos square so to remove sine square you subtract sine square x on both sides so we get cos square x equal to 1 minus sin square x. Now in place of cos square x I put this over here. Now this equation becomes 11 sin x plus 1 minus 4. In place of cos square x this 1 minus sin square x equal to 0. Okay now. Now you open up the bracket in this way. So 11 sin x plus 1. See man you have to multiply with minus 4. Many do the mistake they neglect negative sign. You should not do that. You should open up the bracket with minus 4. So we get minus 4 minus minus plus 4 sin square x equal to 0. Now. I rewrite this in proper quadratic form. What I mean is first the square term I write that is 4 sin square x. Now the sin x thing that is plus 11 sin x. Now constants plus 1 minus 4 will result in minus 3 equal to 0. Here you have sin x and also sin square x. So what I do is I take sin x equal to y. You do the square on both sides we get sin square x equal to y square. Now replace these two in this equation. This equation now becomes 4 in place of sin square x y square plus 11 in place of sin x y minus 3 equal to 0. Now we got quadratic here. Put this in the calculator to get the values for y. You get y values to be 1 by 4 and minus 2. Now replace y by sin x. So sin x equal to 1 by 4 sin x equal to minus 2. Now to get the values for x. Here you have sin and here it is positive. So now you check in what all quadrants is sin positive. It is all silver t cups. So sin is positive in the first and in the second. To get an angle in the first, we do directly sin inverse 
वन बै फोर टू गेट एन आंगल इन दैकेंड वी डू वन एटी माइनस सैन इनवर्स वन बै फोर ओके नाव हियर टू गेट हियर यू हेव सैन एक्स ईक्वल टू माइनस टू बट सैन एक्स वैल्यू शुड आलवे लाइ बिटी माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन माइनस टू डज नाट लाइ बिटी माइनस वन एंड प्लस वन That means I do not get any value for x such that sine x equal to minus two, or this does not lie between these two, so you neglect this. Put this in the calculator. You should get fourteen point five. Put this in the calculator. You should get one sixty five point five. So values for x are fourteen point five and one sixty five point five. Sine x should lie between minus one and plus one. If it doesn't lie, you neglect this. So this is our answer. Am I clear?